Hi, I'm Kent Jones. On August 22, 2008, I traveled to Washington, D.C. to deliver dozens and dozens of banners bearing thousands of signatures and thanks and well wishes from listeners all over Oklahoma for our injured troops at Walter Reed Medical Center. Upon arriving in Washington, we made the trip to Walter Reed, along with two entertainers, Crystal Linnae and America Wittstein. I asked America, a 15-year-old student from Ardmore, Oklahoma, what she thought of the trip and what it meant to her. Recently, I was privileged enough to visit the Walter Reed Medical Center in Washington, D.C. to perform for the injured soldiers. This is due to a campaign that I participate in called Taking Oklahoma to Our Injured Troops. This campaign gives people an opportunity to sign the banners that are presented to the injured troops in Washington. While in Washington, I got to see some historical sites, the Lincoln Memorial, the Washington Monument, and I got to see the reflection pond in front of it. It was so beautiful and breathtaking. It was so powerful. It was so fun to see, and it reached to the sky. I also got to see the White House, and it made me think about all the presidents that have lived there. While I was visiting all the sites, when I stood there and looked at them, it just made me feel so proud to be an American. They just said that the barbecue is ready, so please make your way over there, make yourselves comfortable, come back and grab a plate, and we're going to get started with some good entertainment right now. The most important reason I went there was to perform for the soldiers. When I arrived, I saw many wounded soldiers that were very proud to be sacrificing for their country. I was also taken back by their humility when they would only allow me to say thank you twice, and if I said it three times, they would respond by saying that they knew what they signed up for and the chance of possible sacrifices. But to me, every time they would serve, their families also had to sacrifice. After I performed, when I sat and visited with the soldiers, when we all ate and we all talked, and it made me very happy that they were all positive about going and fighting for their country. And they were so proud that they were ready to go back to fight for their country. I just want to say to the people of Oklahoma that uh, the troops out here, especially me, uh, really appreciate you guys coming out and doing uh, things of this nature to show your support for us. Uh, it really means a lot to us. Uh, thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Thank you. A lot of people tend to forget how important our support is for these soldiers, whether they're here in a different country or wounded, and whether we support the war or not, we should support our troops. This trip has been one of the most emotional experiences that I've ever had in my life because seeing all the injured troops in wheelchairs and knowing that they have lost limbs and that they're happy to be fighting for our country and that they do want to go back. And I want to go back because I made so many friends and I was happy to see them. And I even sang a duet with one of them. And it really touched my heart seeing that they were so positive. We went to be a blessing to them but found out that we were blessed in return. We went to put on a show for them, but found out that we were the ones who really got to see the price of freedom. We went to encourage and support them, but it turned out that we were encouraged by their spirit and grateful for the support they give to our country. I can only hope that we touch their hearts half as much as they touched ours.